We all know that keeping your teeth clean is important, but there's a lot more to it than just brushing. I'm actually here with dental hygienist Louise Goodman, and she's got some tips and tricks to keep those pearly whites cleaning. Good morning. And you know what? This is um, this is a big thing for me. I am kind of a freak about my teeth, so I love having you on here. That's wonderful. I wish everybody felt the same way. Yes. Their mouth. And you know what was interesting is we were talking about flossing, right? Um, but there is correct ways to do it, and you were actually bringing up these. Talk to me about this. Okay. Let me. Can I say one thing? First? Of course. Okay. I want to show this, and I, I've shown this every time I've been on television. Teeth are like dishes. The reason teeth are like dishes is if you go to bed without washing your dishes, you wake up to a hard plate of lasagna to clean off. Never fun. It, never fun is right. If you go to bed without brushing all day and you wait till morning, then you still have your bacon and eggs, your lunch, your dinner, and the candy, you know, the snacks you've had. So when you go to bed and you don't brush your teeth, and you don't floss your teeth, you've got a lot of bacteria in your mouth. And that bacteria is underneath the gums. We've got, you know, one, two, three millimeters under there. And it is actually causing decay for the younger generation, just due to age and everything, and gum disease for us that get older, you know. So that's why it's so important to floss your teeth every night. Not just brush them, but everything has to be at night. Brushing at night and flossing at night. If you wait till morning, then you can't get it off with with flossing. Good point. I mean, I feel like I floss all the time. I think I even floss when I'm bored. Like, I, <laughs> I am just, I am just I, all the time. Well, you're going to keep your teeth for a lifetime. That's the goal. That's the goal, right? But let's talk about, you know, right when we started, she was uh, bringing up the different floss. I told her, I was like, you know, I use the, well, what's the proper term for this? In a proximal brush. Yes, this. These are the ones that I use all the time. And she's like, wait, I know what you're talking about. Let me go run and get one. This one, um, but talk to me how this is different, um, you know, compared to some of the other ones that are on the table. Well, that has a little brush head on it, so and it's easy to get into in between the teeth. Yes. Right? And it's reusable, so you rinse it off just like you do your toothbrush. It's not a one-time. A lot of people are using these little brush flossers, and it has less than an inch of flossing space. So if you have 28 to 32 teeth, which most people do unless they've lost something, you know, a tooth due to um, a cavity or a problem, you're actually... It's, putting the debris further down. You have no control over how to use this. So this is not the best choice. It's the easiest choice for a lot of people, and I find that most people are using this. They are, I feel like yes. they are. So that's a good tip, kind of avoid those. Avoid them if you can, you know. If you have severe arthritis and there's no other way you can do it, then it's okay, but then use four or five or six. So just like if you have a cold mm -hmm. and you blow your nose in a tissue, you, after one blow, you usually throw it away. Yep. Maybe after two. We're done there, yeah. Well, here you're using this between 28 teeth, and you've got, it's like the tissue. Throw them away after every two or three teeth. Use about a half a dozen to a dozen. Okay, so these mouth. are some good, good tips. But the best way of flossing is flossing with what we call string floss, or you can use a water pick. And this is like the Mike's car wash in your mouth. This is <laughs> okay. a really, this is a really nice appliance to buy it it's um you can replace tips so if you have two three people in your house you can all use the same handle but i recommend using it your own tip and so and this works with water i like this my husband and i both use flossing you know with a flosser but we also do string floss but the thing i want to show you about string floss is you need in order to go around your mouth with 28 to 32 teeth you need at least an arm's length of dental floss and you never want to use the same section twice. The biggest mistake people you make when they floss, they wrap it around their index finger. By doing that, that's like walking with your shoes tied together in a relay, relay race. You're going to fall down all the time. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. You have Good the, comparison right there. Yes. And this doesn't allow you to get past your, like your canine teeth and your bicuspids. So what you want to do is use a... They say the distance around your mouth is the distance from the tip of your finger to your shoulder as to how much you should use. Well, that is the best tip. And I we want we need to have you on for even some more well, tips with us. To, because Thank we have to show them how to floss. Exactly. So that's why we got to have her on, right? Well, we're going to have more for you right after this break.